The Rectangle tool, used for creating, as you may have guessed, rectangles, can be accessed by pressing 4 on the number bar along the top of your keyboard. This tool has four modes, the first of which is corner to corner mode. This is the default mode for the tool, where you click once to set one corner of the rectangle, then again in another location to set its opposite corner. Holding down the shift key after the first click will create a square, all sides of equal length. Holding down the shift and command, or shift and control keys on Windows, instead, will create a rectangle with the golden proportions, a ratio of 1 to 1.618. During any of the drawing modes, you can press the tab key to enter the width and tab again to set the length manually. These are expressed in the floating data bar as delta x and delta y. The second mode, center to corner mode, causes your first click to set the center point of the rectangle to be drawn, then your second click to specify any one of the corners. Midpoint to corner mode sets first the center of one edge of the rectangle, then the second click will set the location of an opposing corner. The fourth and last mode will create a rotated rectangle. The first two clicks set the direction of one edge of the rectangle, then the third click sets its thickness away from this edge. In the Object Info palette, you have options to change the width and height of the rectangle manually. Below this, X and Y set where the rectangle is located on the drawing. The icons to the left set which point you're going to be controlling with the X and Y coordinates. For example, if you set the box position to the center, changing the X and Y to 0, 0 would move the center of the rectangle to 0, 0 on the drawing. If you set it to top left, the top left of the rectangle would move to the center of the drawing if X and Y were then changed to 0, 0. Below that, you'll see the rotation of the object, similar to many other objects in Vectorworks. Keep in mind that the width and height values will be swapped if the rectangle is rotated past 90 degrees, so that the width will always represent the length in X, and height will always represent the length in Y. Under this, you'll see details about the rectangle's ratio, perimeter, and area. The ratio will either display a numeric value or text if the ratio is square or golden. The Rectangle tool also has a quick push-pull mode option that you will only see when in a 3D view, so any view other than top plan. With this mode enabled, immediately after you draw a rectangle, the push-pull tool will temporarily activate and allow you to click and drag on the face of your rectangle to create an extrude. Once you use this mode once, it will revert back to the standard rectangle tool. The rectangle tool is an essential part of the basic tools in Vectorworks. Almost every user should become very familiar with this tool during drafting.